What? What the? F <laughs> don't talk. <laughs> it's like I'm dealing with Sean Capri over here. <laughs> Sean does that shit to me all the time. Cut that out, because that was me swearing. Being very naughty then. No, 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 that's fine. You're like, I'm gonna use that as the intro. <laughs> Episode 2 of Behind the Scenes with Joel's Watchroom. I am Bobby, the Nintendo Guru, joined by the greatest game developer in all the land, <laughs> Joel's Watchroom. How you doing, Joel? Hey, Bobby. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Very good. Very good. Good, good. to see you, sir. So, I, I think I think it would be wise of me to first of all start off by apologizing to everybody. Um, there was no episode last week. Um, I was sick. I had the flu. Um, and Joel's was here both times ready to go and i just <laughs> dropped the ball and i couldn't couldn't do it i was, I was oh dude you're out man yeah you're I was, out I, it was i Oosh. was done yeah but um so that's not it's jules's rough. fault this is my fault and uh i feel like a slacker but whatever it doesn't matter it's well okay. you were like on death's door man i mean you were I was, bedridden i was pretty bad good doctor's orders to uh stay at home and rest it did, he, the doctor did say take a couple days get your get your get your junk to get together and all that and, and we'll go that way so um but how you been man how, how's, how's the week i'm good i'm trying to arrange my windows sorry it's just sorry so so i'm looking over here uh -huh. i can see you and i can do that all right good I'm, i think i'm good now you're okay I'm now? good uh, I'm good, man. Okay. No, it's, it's busy as always. I have five million games I'm working on, which is awesome. Wouldn't I, have any I different. I that, man. Like, I, I, I took a week off, and I come back, and it's like, Jules announced this, and Jules announced this, and Jules announced this, and it was like, holy crap, yeah. man. So, yeah, I mean, so what yeah. are we officially allowed to speak about? I know... Well, there's quite a lot. I mean, I did that blog... I did, I wrote a blog piece yes. yesterday morning. I kind of... Um, like I said at the beginning, actually, yes, at the very, very beginning of the blog piece, it's very cathartic to. It's a weird word, right? Because it's spelt cathartic, but mm -hmm. I think I'll, I want to pronounce it cathartic with a D. Even okay. though it doesn't have a D, that's how I want to say it. So I'm going to say cathartic, okay. even yeah. though it's not spelt that way. That's fine. Someone, I'm sure, will uh, tell me that how it's supposed to be done. Sean can um, really yell at you. Because Sean used to do that to there me. There we go, Sean. I used to say. You let me know, buddy. I used to, I used to always say uh, preference, preference or preference. preference? And, and it was like preface. Preface? I wanted to preface something. Oh, preface? And I would always say, like, I'm going to preference this. And he's like, <laughs> he's preference always this. laughing at me and stuff. And I was like, what are you laughing at? And he's like, oh, Sean. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Yeah, I'm like, that's awesome. You jerk. So go um, ahead. Go ahead. But no, yeah, it's, it's yesterday morning. I just, I don't know why, but I just sat at my computer and I'm like, you know what? And, I, and I've done this many times in the past where I'll just write a massive blog piece about kind of what's happened in the last kind of, you know, however long since I did the last blog yeah, piece, yeah, basically. Yeah. You know, the last few months. And uh, it's a really, it's it's good, you know. I like it. I enjoy doing it. And I think some people would just write it and, and not necessarily release it. It'd be like a diary entry, right? Yeah, just keep yeah. it to themselves and then move on and get from it what they what they can. Um, but I like to share that stuff uh, for good or for bad. <laughs> so um, no, it was good anyway. So it, it's it got it. It covers all kinds of crap. So not yeah, only does it talk long. about. Mud stuff, you know. We we obviously talk about Zeo Drifter, which I don't think we covered on the last nope. show. No, the only thing we so that has on the last show was yeah um, the kick around thought of Kickstarter um, for Chicken Right, Eagle. that's yeah, right. We did talk about that. That's the only thing we touched on last episode. Um, okay. So, so yeah. So as so, of so, now, I guess, so I guess since then, Zeo Drifter was approved okay that's, from Nintendo, that's which is good. amazing. That's good. And, and it's, uh, the fifteenth, right? Is that right? Yeah, February fifteenth. So 15th. it's like. A couple of weeks away, which is crazy, dude. That's awesome. So that's super exciting. Yeah, that's great. So it's gonna be nine ninety nine on the Switch, mm. um, and there you go. Nice price point. Yeah, nice price point. Um, yeah. It's it's nice. We uh, for those that care. I mean, it, it because it's made on the made for the 3ds. When you take the 3ds screen and you blow it up to the Switch's native screen of 720p, it would have little black bars on either side because okay. the 3ds screen isn't exactly 16 by 9 it's pretty okay. close actually yeah. um, but it's not quite there um and we don't like to scale things to fill up the space because mm. then a pixel isn't square anymore it's slightly rectangular and that yeah. just drives me nuts so um 
but we're hesitant to expand the view to show more because design wise there are hidden paths and stuff like that and we didn't want to reveal that without yeah. you know because that's not the way it's designed but anyway we we, we we did expand it and we uh, played through the whole game and it's fine it doesn't break anything so touch word yay awesome Good. um so yeah so it's expanded which is great um not that anyone will notice really but for those that are into that kind of stuff they'll notice it i think um and added all the rumble stuff, which is awesome. Oh, that, so see, has, I was wondering if you were going to have HD rumble in this one. Yeah, no, I it's didn't... really good. So Matthew, you know, did all the stuff on Mud's rumble, which is the first time we did it, um, which I think turned out amazing. And so it really phenomenal, good. Man, phenomenal. And then he went even deeper <laughs> on mm. this one. He even spent a lot more kind of time on this one to the point where um, we actually put different settings of rumble as far as. I, I come up with the call in the game now, but low, medium, and high. I don't know. So there's different strengths which affect right. the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. So it, I think it defaults at medium because yeah. that just feels comfortable. Yeah, but yeah, if you yeah. want a more intense kind of experience, you can put it up to high, and that's the you know the extreme kind of uh, r- rattle and rumble. Yeah. But anyway, so it has all that in there. It's great. Um, it runs super smooth. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Anyway, so that's February fifteenth. Yay! That's awesome. Uh, Totes the goat has been submitted as well. That's at lot check now, so that has okay. not been removed, uh, hasn't been approved yet, but that's in lot check. So that's cool. Now, we okay. are now. Oh, go ahead. This will help a little bit. This will give some people behind the scenes because a lot of people feel like, okay, you submit this game to Nintendo, and then it comes back approved. What's mm. the process? What are they looking at? What are they they like? Okay, so you upload the ROM, you fill out a bunch of online paperwork, um, giving them information about what is this game, like okay. how many players does it have, does it use online, blah, blah, blah. You know, all of the stuff that, yeah. that is the game, which is a lot of technical things as well as um, just eShop, you know, description and screenshots and videos yeah. and blah, blah. So they, and they have to review all of that. Mm-hmm. And, that and that's just one tiny portion. Yeah to make sure the information you've entered is actually reflective of the actual game. Because okay. sometimes you make a mistake or you don't understand something, you fill it in wrong and they come back and go, hey, did you mean this? Well, this is wrong, blah, blah whatever. That um, so this, that's one, that's the initial testing. So it's like day one as soon, or day within the first few days that they get it, they do that initial kind of sanity check. Okay. And, then it go, and then it goes in the queue. Okay. So it sits in the queue and that could be from anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, depending on what time of year it is and what's going on. It's pretty quick with uh, with Zero Drifter and, and Totes has already come back with a fail and we kind of put it back again. So, for example, the fail with, with Totes is um, just some really simple things in the game itself that we have to, in the ROM itself, you actually have to set the ESRB and the PEGI and the age ratings that you've got for the game. Okay. You have to set those in the game so the game has the information. And we failed to do some of them just by mistake. So, so real simple, you kind of, what you do is, is you kind of have like, almost like an online forum, but not really, um, but the, a thread, I guess, per issue. And they'll be like, hey, there's this issue in the game. And then you have your opportunity to then respond to that issue. You know, like, okay. what are you going to do about it? You know, do you want to chat about it? Because it's like a weird thing that you just need to discuss and explain. Or is it just a flat out, okay, yeah, we'll fix that, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Um, and then when you, and then they may then continue testing and, and then go, all right, it's a fail because of this or whatever. And then you fix it and then you re-upload, re-upload the build and then they have to go through the whole thing again. So they, they do everything though. They play the entire game. I mean, oh, they're wow. not just, yeah, no, it's it's pretty hardcore. I mean, it's yeah. not just, you know, cursory glance like you're getting a rental car or something. It's like, no, it's they take the freaking guts out and they check out everything and take the engine out, the whole thing. So they're really playing the whole game and, making sure it does everything especially things like where does it save mm-hmm. um you know because you don't want the game to be hitting the save too many times a minute because that's just going to actually have a negative impact on the hardware because okay. it's hardware at the end of the day you know yeah, if you're yeah. writing to that too much things like that you know yeah. save and, and obviously just the gameplay you know does it actually break you know let does me, it actually do what it's supposed to do so let me ask you a question because me coming from an outside perspective and i have no idea do you feel like the time allotted to do a QA is appropriate or do you feel like it's too long or too short or what's, how long what's, they take to do it? Yeah. What's your feeling? It's, on it this? seems pretty reasonable because and obviously it'd be nicer if it was quicker, but if it was quicker, then their quality standards would be lower. Yes. You okay. know, it, it, you know, it's a lot quicker, like on the app store, for example, mm-hmm. you know, and the quality is overall lower, right? Yeah. I mean, the things you get on the app store aren't as solid as the things you get on the switch, generally speaking. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they have probably not an army of people. I wouldn't imagine at a lot check, probably not like a massive amount of people, you know, so they only have so many people. We have a lot of games coming in 
and they want to devote a certain amount of time to each game, whatever that might be. Yeah. So it sits in the queue. When it finally it comes up for test and they hammer on it for X amount of time until they're done with it, and then it's either approved or it's failed, mm. and they send it back to the developer or they send it onto the eShop, depending on what happens, and they move on to the next one. So it, it's, it's pretty much as good as it's going to get, honestly. Like just That's what's humanly possible. I think it's pretty good. That's interesting. Now, it, yeah. To me, it's curious because you hear that term a lot. And especially people that follow you recently, like you've been submitting games quite often recently. Yeah. And it's like, you hear that term and you hear what it is, but it's like, I have no idea really what the process is. I don't know what happens. I, I usually, it's like, oh, you just take the game yeah. to give it to Nintendo and Nintendo goes, okay. They play it. Yeah, it runs yeah. great. All right, that's fine. Go ahead. Yeah. I didn't realize like there's actual stuff that goes back and forth and back and forth. And then, yeah. you know, and it, it's kind of interesting to kind of hear what they're if, actually looking for yeah and, and if they just find a, a, just a bug i mean let's say um i don't know whatever you know you, you you press this button you do something and it just does something maybe it doesn't even crash the game it does something unexpected like oh, i don't think the game is supposed to do this and then and they may come back and go this is wrong or they may yeah. come back and go is this intentional yeah um because they don't want to assume you know that's it's not their game. They're not going to come in and say, yeah. hey, it should be like this. They're just like, this does this. Is this intentional? What do you want to say about this? Yeah, yeah. And some people might be like, you know what? I don't care. Wave it, yeah. even though it is a bug. And some people might be like, yeah, I'm going to fix that. Um, so, it, you know, whatever. And I think I it's bad how, enough. They won't, how, uh, they won't let you wave it, but yeah. I wonder how Skyrim passed. It's... Is it bad? I haven't <laughs> oh played it. Oh, my God, dude. There's a, there's, it, I, look, I only played a little bit, all right? So I'm not going to tear it apart, but I just know in history... Bethesda has a lot of buggy games and mm. there was a moment that I was playing Skyrim and there was two people that were coming at me and I drew my, my bow and I put the bow up and the girl is literally like moonwalking backwards and I'm <laughs> like that's she, she should awesome. be doing that like that's not that's like, awesome. she's yeah. just, like her legs aren't moving she's just sliding backwards and I'm like <laughs> What is going on here? That like, is, is great. So, oh my god! Yeah, so it, it's it's awesome. kind of a it's kind of interesting to hear. To hear yeah. Perspective. So yeah. Okay. So, so I usually estimate there... about a month. Like if I submit it on like February first, for example. Yeah. Um. Then as far as release date, I'll estimate the earliest it could possibly be would be like March first. I mean, or whatever the Thursday is, you know. So okay. Close here's, to that, so and that may question. or may not be the release date, but that's just the estimate. So then the next question I would ask you is, is when it goes to QA and it comes back, do they say to you then you have to wait a yeah, week or two before whole... you can release the game? Or can you turn around oh, and go like, hey, I want this game released tomorrow? Oh, no, it's not going to be that quick. No, I mean, well, in Europe especially, it's going to take longer because they have so many countries to deal with, you know. Okay. So the eShop in Europe, I can't even imagine organizing that because... Every, you know, like, you have to, every game page, you know, you go to the eShop, you go on the game page, you know, and you check out the game, you see the description, you see the screenshots. You know, every country has to have their own one of those. Mm -hmm. um, so in Europe, I mean, it's tons, dude. It's like a couple of dozen, maybe, countries yeah. over there. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So each one has to be there and has to, like, exist in itself. And sometimes games will have unique uh, localized text for each each country sometimes they won't france is required you have to have french but everything else is it can be english unless you want to localize it for everything yeah. uh, so any any text on any kind of image that may or may not be on the eShop has to be then localized to all the different languages it's oh, wow. wow it's crazy dude so i think europe's like at least 10 days after okay. it's been approved so once uh, you get something approval, like that then you have to wait at least 10 days before you can then i'm not sure exactly but something like that i'm okay. trying to think um I think it is 10 for Europe. Okay. But in a way, would be quicker. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you're on a simultaneous launch, then you're just going to have to you go have with to whatever's long. And it would make yeah. sense to make you wait. I mean, it would make sense to have simultaneous yeah. launch. You want to be yeah. more bang for your buck. You right. want it to be um, kind of everything. And I can't, I really can't fault Europe for taking longer because, yeah, I can't even imagine, dude. Oh, that's wrestling a lot, with that man. many countries. Yeah, well, not only that, like, you think about that, everyone has its own currency as well and its own, yeah. like, cost. Yeah. So you, so when you go onto the eShop or the website to set up your game and submit it, you have to fill in this form or, or what is the price in every country. Oh, wow. And you're like, and I'm, I'm seeing these these currencies I've never even heard of. I'm like, it's KR. 
which I guess is a crone maybe in Sweden. I, I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's some, I don't know, all of these That's things. Crazy. I'm like, I'm, and, and the way they're written is different. Like sometimes, you know, like over here, it's like nine, $9.99. Nine boom, yeah. done. In Europe, uh, you know, maybe it's going to be eight pounds, 99 cent, pence, and in euro, nine euro, 99 whatever's yeah, yeah, yeah. great easy simple but then you get into europe stuff so it may be like 150 oh, another one might, might it's be like, like the yen where the yen is like a dollar is 100 yen yeah so it's, it's so it's and they're all over the place sometimes it's a double digit sometimes it's three digits but then you actually have to do the point whatever like maybe it's actually five digits but obviously with a decimal point but you have to fill in that you know it's yeah. just it's so bizarre dude it's it's fascinating it's really fascinating now, um do you and have so you, you have to figure out the prices for that. Have you, know? you sold games in Japan? Yeah, mods is in Japan. Okay. How how did that? On the 3DS. How did that? Work? Eh, not not great. Yeah. Is it is it more difficult to get into Japan? Or? It is because the co- the the e shop over there is very different. Um, I'm trying to think now. I don't think Nintendo Japan really promotes any third party stuff oh, on the wow. e shop. This is my understanding. It's the only way of getting any kind of coverage is to basically put it on sale or be really cheap and be oh, under God. the under the 500 yen bucket or whatever yeah, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. that's what we attempted to do with muds over there i'm like i i, I mean I, I worked with a publisher and they're really nice publisher and they're good guys and you know i'm like hey i trust you and it seemed like a great idea but yeah it didn't really work out but yeah we did we did localize it it's called like oh, i can't think what it's called now but it's max and the i don't even know what it's called but it's got some weird japanese name it's pretty that's cool funny. <laughs> evasion of the blah blahs or whatever that's it's pretty crazy. cool yeah. um so so uh okay so, so yeah, totes is at law check so so totes is getting checked yeah totes is getting Zero checked Drifter's done done you did, 15. you did discuss a little bit in your blog post about chicken wiggle i did um, where from what i'm reading it sounds like you're you're leaning <laughs> you're going for like it's a further yeah yeah, no, I, something? yeah, I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, mean, I did definitely hint at it in the blog yeah, post. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling pretty good about that. Good. Um, the tweet, you know, people were, you know, like I said in my blog post, you know, the whole tweet was about, you know, do people think it's a terrible idea or do they think it's a good idea? Um, and people seem to think it's a good idea. Great. Not that it's guaranteed. Not that anyone will actually back it. But I'm leaning towards. Yeah, I think it's a good idea too. So I'm kind of walking in that direction. Yeah. I know. I know of. Quite a few people that are going to back it. Gonna, now, yeah, that, quite be... a few is just a few. So I don't yeah, know whether it, it, or not two, like, you yeah, know, three maybe. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, no, I don't exactly. Know. I, yeah, I know I, that. I, uh, I, and if I and if I don't bring this up, he'll be upset with me because I know he'll, he'll. You know, Nick Militia, friend of mine, Next Level mm-hmm. Games. Um, right. He point blank said to me, "You got to make Jules have it have a physical copy." He's like, "If um, it does." The switch? Oh, chicken wiggle, yes, on the switch. Oh wow! He's like, if it does, I will wholeheartedly back it, double dip, do whatever's got to happen. He goes, I want a physical copy of this game, and I'm like, oh well, you know, that's not. Yeah. I, I don't have no stroke in when it comes to that. Yeah. But I said, well, I, yeah. I, I know that's... Jules would love to have everything have physical yeah. copies, but yeah, the f- physical is a whole other ball game. Yeah. Because of the cost and investment and risk and stuff, so that unfortunately would be a separate endeavor if it yeah. was to happen, kind of thing. But um, but no, the yeah, no, I agree. Oh my god, I love everything in a box. Um, yeah. but uh, but no, the um, yeah, no, the idea of chicken, doing Chicken Wiggle rehatched on Kickstarter is definitely something I'm moving towards, and um, but it's uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's something I'm going to pull the trigger on. Yeah. But it's something that is it's it's um, it's pretty stressful. I'm sure I, remember, it is. I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but when we did the um, the uh, the Colt County one, you know, it, I, I don't know, I set a time that it was going to go live, like nine in the morning or something. I don't know what it was. I can't remember now. Maybe it was later. So California was awake probably. Um, and um, I remember that morning, man. I was just freaking anti pants. I mean, I was just so like. Just crawling out of my skin, yeah. man. I was like, "Oh, this is driving me nuts." And the anticipation was because you're sitting there and you're like, "If this thing sells one copy, I'm going to be the laughing stock yeah. of the world." So you're like, yeah. you, know, you, you want you're, it. You're, yeah, I mean, you think releasing a game or putting a piece of art on the wall or whatever—that's putting yourself out there, and it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kickstarter is really putting your guts out there for everyone to stomp on. It's yeah, it like, is. wow. Yeah. 
I had to go for a walk around the block. I mean, I really, I just couldn't stay here. I was just, yeah, I was just like, oh man, I just had to get out. So anyway, so, you know, so it it is a nervous thing. It's a nerve wracking thing, but, um, I hope I've learned something from that Kickstarter. Um, and this is a completely different situation. So I I definitely feel a lot more confident about it than, than I did with that. So anyway, and then there's that. So yes, that's that's exciting. Um, and soccer slammer. Yes, that's the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which this was announced. This is the one, and I and I said this to you privately a couple of days ago. This mm-hmm. one has me the most excited of everything, and the reason being wow. is is awesome. because this one came out of nowhere. Yeah. This is one that like I never saw coming. Like <laughs> definitely. Like you know, the, the, the chicken wiggle stuff. The, the, the Zeo Drifter, you know, the Toast same. the Goats. Like, I expected, <laughs> like, I totally yep. expected, like, Zeo Drifter to, to wind up on there. I totally expected, like, MUDs. Yep. I didn't expect a collection, but I expected MUDs. I, all this stuff, <laughs> like, I totally saw coming down the playbook. This one was just like, you were like, hey, check this out. And I was like, what the hell is that? The heck is that? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, it's, it's this, it's this game. And I'm like, holy cow. Like, this was, and that's what has me excited yes. because... When mm-hmm. I look at it, I go like it's it's kind of an arcadey, fun looking game. Mm-hmm. Um, it reminds me a lot of ice hockey back on the NES, where you mm-hmm. had like three characters and you yeah. went around, and you skated, and then you had the mm-hmm. goalies and like you picked a different character. It, I know it's not like that, but it it gives me that vibe. It gives me mm-hmm. a feel yeah. of that. So yeah. I'm excited for that one of all, Thanks, man. honestly. So I, I can't. I hopefully, and especially like it's coming out right. We're in soccer fever, like right before the World Cup and all that. Like, yeah, the, the goal is to have it, um, and that pun intended. The goal yeah. is to have it um, out in May, it's you know, because the World Cup yeah, uh, yeah. kicks off in June. That's be perfect timing. So that will be nice for people to, and, and yeah, you know, it's fun, man. I mean, it's it's exciting for me on, on lots of different levels. I mean, number one, obviously, trying to make something that's even a a pale shadow of NBA Jam is exciting. Yeah. Just the idea of making something that is even inspired by that. It's like, that's super fun. Because yeah. NBA Jam is great. Yeah. Um, even the original arcade, you play it now, it's still great. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's it's bones. It's yeah. it's it's DNA is just so solid, no matter what. Yeah. Um, it's not like some of the old games you go back to and you're like, yeah, it doesn't age real well. Mm-hmm. That's just a great game. They just, <laughs> they freaking nailed it on so many levels. Um uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So anyway, so trying to pull that off in any way is is very f- a super fun challenge, and yeah. and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, it, we're we're making some good progress right now. We have a really good kind of um, playable game going right now. We're obviously finessing it and doing stuff, and it takes a lot of things to get to that point. Mm-hmm. But we're getting there. We're, we're off to a good start. Good. Um, so that part's really exciting. Um, I, I like the voxel art personally because it's a real. It, 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 to me, it looks like pixel art but in 3d yes. so that's that's really yes. neat i like that personally because yeah. i get to basically do what i like to do but now it's in 3d so it kind of has that modern kind of tinge not that it's as fancy as you know fifa or whatever but it yeah, still is no. 3d so it has a, a different feel to it which is kind of fun um and then i don't know and then the idea that it's going to have all of the countries in there all the teams yeah. so you can kind of set it up to be like well great i'm going to play the world cup yeah you know, you can set all of the teams that are in this World Cup. You can choose that. Like, yeah. I'm going to play that, and I'm going to be this team in that World Cup. Yeah. Whatever, I'm going to be Germany. I'm going to be whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and you can go through all the brackets, and you can play it and see what the result is if you play it. Um, awesome. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Or, or you can play, of course, multiplayer, yeah. um, co-op, or competitive uh, couch play, um, which is that's great being yeah, able to like go and get each other and obviously the the, the, the the base the crux of the gameplay is it's two on two and then there's a AI kind of simple goalie yeah um, in there so really you just control the two players against each other and it's really really basic you have a slam attack of course mm-hmm. uh, which is on the screenshot if anyone's seen yeah, it that's that blurry guy yeah, 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 yeah. so that's the slam attack mm-hmm. so you can just slam into someone it and you see on the screenshot one guy's knocked in his ass his leg on the ground that's the result of a slam attack okay, you get okay. no, you get knocked in your ass okay. so then you you grab the ball um, and then you can come running after them. So you can basically do the, do the slam attack to attack each other. Uh, you can sprint um, if you don't have the ball. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of run after them. Yeah. You can um, do a little tiny sprint burst if you have the ball, but obviously it's not as powerful as fast yeah. as if you don't have the ball. Yeah. 
naturally, uh, and obviously you can pass and you can shoot. But the nice and you're one you're one character. You you don't switch between characters. You're you're this guy, okay. but you can control the other guy. So if I'm just playing one team and I'm just controlling one team and you're controlling your other team, yeah. I'll be let's say I'll be the guy with the brown hair and then the other guy is, is a bald guy on my team. Great. Okay. So I'll be the guy with the brown hair. And I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll have the ball and I'll be coming down the wing or whatever and someone's trying to get me. If I press pass to go to that guy, obviously the AI will be controlling him. Yeah. But if I press shoot, he will shoot. If I press okay. pass, he'll pass. Okay. Okay. If I hold down shoot, he'll build up his power shot and I'll let go. Boom, he'll boost it. Gotcha. So you can control his actions, but you his can't movement. control where he's moving. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. So, and that's like NBA Jam. Like yeah, you, yeah, yeah. When Jam, you control the guy, but you yeah. can control the actions of the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah, anyway, so that's that's it in a nutshell. It's pretty basic, yeah, but it feels awesome. great. That's Super awesome. fun. That's awesome. Yeah. No, it's good anyway, so whatever. That's, that's Soccer Slams, baby. Super that's fun. good stuff, man. That's it's, good stuff. It's been nice. Uh, honestly, I had very low expectations because it's, it's a sports game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if anyone cares about me making a sports game, but we wanted to do one. So it's been a really good response, you know, to people being excited about it. So that's a nice surprise. That's I had good. very low expectations. I'm like, great. I'll put it out. No one will care. Whatever. I'll release it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but people seem to be into it, so that's that's, that's good. Fine. That's what you want. That's ultimately what you want. So uh, this week, wow, that was a lot to cover there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. So uh, so this week we got this little game. Um... Zero the kamikaze squirrel. <laughs> that's right. It doesn't talk straight now. It doesn't. That would be no, bad. That's fine. Um, so what we're gonna do is. You let me know when. Uh, are we going to take a quick break and then come back? Is that what we do? No, no, no. Or we don't have to take a break. We can we can kind of just flow right into this. Oh, but we got to – just let me know when it's open on your screen. Oh, it's open, baby. It's ready to go. Okay. So All then right. uh, we'll just go one, two, three, play, and then we'll start playing. So you ready? Got it. Yep. One, two, three, play. Mm. Okay. So we got, got some... lots of credit stuff credits. coming up. And you now... didn't do the fonts in this game, did you? Then this <laughs> – Sun Software goes up. I got on his logo. Iguana. Probably. Look at this. Look at this. I probably did it. Yes, I I probably did it. Now, this was on what? The uh, the Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo and Genesis, yeah. Okay. So, what is this version? Um, This is probably the Genesis, I think. You think so? Looking at the covers, um, I'll have to wait and see until it... Uh, maybe not. They don't look like Genesis colors, do they? That blue is very Genesis, though. But sometimes yeah. we do that just so it doesn't look different between the different things. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Yeah. Mm. I'll, when we get to the title screen, I'll definitely be, definitely know. But yeah, this is kind of Super Nintendo, I think. It's, it's, anyway, whatever. This is the intro. Yeah, yeah. So this is fun. So Greg Hargrove, who was a good friend of mine, who is a good friend of mine, and who was my business partner, a renegade kid, he did the sketches of the artwork of the intro. Okay. And then Scott, another good friend of mine, who I worked with back then and still know now, he then did the pixel artwork to bring it into the game. So that's kind of the process it went through. But yeah, good old Greg uh, worked on the original kind of I think it's just Super Nintendo because it has it YBA, yeah. And with that smooth stuff. So that was the title screen that I worked on forever. Um, so I was the lead artist on this game. Uh, it was my first. Was yeah, it was you my first. The character in all. Um, I didn't design him, but I did do the artwork for him, yeah. Okay. So I, I was my first leadership role on in, in the company, or ever, actually, I guess. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this was Sunsoft. So Sunsoft came to Iguana. Um, you know, we'd already done Arrow the Acrobat, which I did one enemy on. Okay. And that was released, and they, that did really well. So they came back to us, and we were making Arrow 2 and Zero at the same time, in oh, wow. parallel. Both projects were being made at the same time. I was lead on this project, and then there was another team doing Arrow 2. So so the character was already designed, the story was already figured out, everything was already figured out. We just kind of made the game with them kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so I was responsible mainly for the main character animations. I did all of his frames, all of his animations, uh, with big help from the art director, uh, Matt Stubbington, who was a dear friend of mine. Um, and, and he actually did a lot of the artwork on this level as well, those palm trees. Oh, those palm trees are gorgeous. Palm trees are awesome. Dude, yeah, he did that. He's such an amazing artist. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. But yeah, oh, he wow. was an amazing artist. Like the the sun in the background there, the sunset yeah, and the sand. Yeah, that's all him, man. That's so, awesome. Such an amazing artist. Yeah. So anyway, so he 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 very much was my mentor. You know, that was this was me. He really much helped me kind of get into it and learn all this business um, while I was kind of leading at the same time. So yeah, it's a fun project, man. I did that. Cool. Did that enemy. Did that and that crab enemy and that. Helicopter guy that was spun off. So, nice. 
Anyway, so this is the intro beginning level. Lots of weird... The gameplay is very strange. Like, you can do the somersault attack, you can do yeah. the swoop attack there. you got these weird inflatable doors you can open up. I did that animation of the thingy there. That was fun. Um, then you go into these weird secret levels. Look at that background. Love it. Beautiful. Oh, dude, yeah. It's like yeah, different was... levels. Like yeah. different... yeah, you're kind of in an underground cave now. It doesn't make much sense, but it's cool. No, it's pretty cool, though. That's, that's, that's but we were really into Disney stuff then, so we were watching, you know, Lion King and Aladdin and stuff like that. Maybe Aladdin, I don't know if Lion King was out yet, but definitely Aladdin. Yes. That was a huge yeah, yeah, inspiration for us doing the animations and stuff. Like all the squash and stretch, you'll see, you know, when this door opens up, the way it kind of gets big like in a minute, gets big and kind of opens up like that. That was yeah. total Disney kind of inspired. It was super fun kind of doing all that stuff. So, so fun. But yeah, so really, really cool, man. I, you know, I. It's funny because, as big as a Super Nintendo fan as I was, I didn't even realize that this game. I, I totally missed this game. I'm not gonna lie. Like, and I, yeah, I was it, a fan of like Sunsoft and Iguana right. and all it that like a, stuff. It was like a medium success. I mean, I think it was kind of oversaturated at that point because yeah. Arrow came out. It was good. Arrow, even Arrow Two came out. And it did okay. I think. I don't know if it had the fanfare it deserved, but. You know, this and Era 2 came out at the same time, which is a bit peculiar, really. But um, but at that time, you know, there was stuff like Bobsy and there was Zool and yeah. all, all of the mascot games were all coming out. There was so many. It was it hard was. to keep up with. Everybody um, was putting on mascot games. Yeah, it was, it was nuts, it, which was a great time. Yeah. You know, half of them sucked, but half of them were pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. This is somewhere in the middle. This is a strange one. This is a very peculiar game. It looks good. Like, design-wise, this is very odd. You have so many moves. Like those, look at those rocks there on the right. The way the sand goes over yeah, them, it's yeah. just cool, man. Green stuff, um, and yeah, and that, that's all matte, that, matte stuff right there. It's incredible. It's like the detail of these, like, like of, this, of this this era. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You what I that's what I love about the Super Nintendo was you were able to like take things much further, like than you were with the Nintendo, obviously. But I oh, mean, like, yeah. but yeah. I mean, like you look at like. You have a background. You have like there is a there's a separation of levels. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you have the distance yeah. background, and then you have your foreground that you're playing in. And I did that pretty... basket and those balloons. <laughs> no, it, no, really. It, yeah, the difference with NES, the NES, and the Super Nintendo is huge, huge. And Genesis was pretty good. Yeah. Visually, it doesn't look half as good as this, really, but it's still pretty good. Um, it's funny because you can see the things that are made in the same palette, like the Zero palette. So each, everything has a palette which is 16 colors, which is actually really only 15 colors because the color zero is see-through. So it's really just 15 colors, but they say 16 colors. So the zero palette, for example, here has 16 colors for him, but it's used for all kinds of stuff. You can tell it's used for that guy. You know, he's got the exact same colors, like that enemy that's using the zero palette because he has the same red, the same blue, the same skin color. Mm -hmm. Those power-ups are probably all using that. That camera is using the zero palette. So it's funny because you'll have these palettes and you'll have a handful of them, but you need to figure out, but you only have so many, like yeah. maybe eight, maybe 16 total, I'm not sure exactly. Half of them for sprites, half of them for the level. So you have to be very careful. You can't just keep on throwing stuff in there and just willy-nilly because eventually you'll run out of colors. You're like, oh man. So it's funny, you'll, you'll, I can see the things that are made in the same palettes, you know. And, and the tricky thing is the Super Nintendo had way more than the Genesis. So sometimes you couldn't take advantage of the Super Nintendo because you're still making the Genesis one too. Uh, so it's like, it's kind of tough, man. It's weird. So you were basically making two games. It was two games. You weren't making... Two, yeah, it was two separate programmers uh, making the game their way. They were completely different. I mean, they were the same. But, but yeah. under the hood, the code was totally different. Yeah. And the Genesis is a lot more very powerful it's more powerful than the super nintendo in many ways as far as uh, especially sprites the number of stuff you can have on screen but the super nintendo comes off as more powerful because it has a dedicated graphics chip and has all the fancy colors so it can it kind of fakes it it kind of does a nice job um so it it, it does a very efficient way of doing something gorgeous whereas Genesis just has a lot of power, but graphically it's a bit. This is nice. This thing on the end here, I, I created this thing you grab onto in the end there that oh, I like wow, doing the animation. Cool. Cool Look game. at him, he, he does like a little kind of yeah, Bruce Lee thing at the end. Yeah. And he gets faster and faster as he goes to the point where it's just a big blur. That's I love cool. doing that animation. That was like one of the last animations I did for the game. <laughs> so fun. Look at that little guy. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny. So fun. Look at him go. 
<laughs> so ridiculous. Point less. Good times. Yeah, anyway. And this is just when we first got into 3DS. Um, uh, 3D Studio. Not okay. 3DS, is in the tip 3DS. Yeah, yeah, the 3D, yeah. 3, 3D package, like making 3D artwork. Yeah, yeah. So that Z there in the bottom left corner, mm -hmm. that was actually rendered in a 3D package and then drawn and brought down um, to, uh, you know, pixelated. Not that it mattered because we you know, could have just drawn that. But sometimes we'd have something spinning, you know, in 3D or whatever. Yeah. We'd render it in 3D and then bring it over here. So that was kind of like when we were getting into that stuff. Did you, Funny. now did you guys. I'm assuming you didn't with this game, I don't believe, but like, did you guys mess with any Mode 7 stuff or at any time? We did on uh, NFL Quarterback Club. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, that's right. I yeah. believe, well, actually, maybe not, actually. Maybe that wasn't Mode 7, now I, now I say that. That may have just been just flax. I don't think that rotated, did it? No, actually, maybe that wasn't Mode 7. I'm sure we did, but I can't remember what, though. Yeah. But no, this game I don't think does at all. Again, because we're doing Genesis as well, so we're kind of limited. So like, well. So you, you... where are you at in terms of your life when you get to this game? Like, how much experience have you had at this point? Not a lot, dude. Not a lot. Let's look up the old soft photography. Um, what year is this? This is nice. So it was released in '94, so I was probably making it in '93 ish. '93, '94, I was probably making it. Okay. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm 19, You're 20. You're young, man. Yeah, 19, 20. Yeah. Just bored, yeah, bored. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So, um, it was and a mixture of. Yeah, I was, yeah, which is amazing. I mean, I was obviously a, a kind of a, a learning lead. Yeah, yeah, um, But yeah, I was yeah. I was responsible to kind of organize the... We had, I had two, two artists that I was working with, uh, Mark Picture or, and um, uh, Robbie... Last name. But anyway, two artists who we were working with. And um, yeah, so I had to kind of manage them and kind of direct them and kind of help give them feedback and stuff like that. Yeah, then I was responsible to doing a bunch of the artwork as well. So yeah, it was fun, man. It was really, it was amazing. It was, and that's what the way game, game development was then. It was just thrown in and you know, sink or swim. What do the, uh, not the Z's, what do the Z's do, do you know? It's health. Oh, okay. Oh, so the Z is your health bar. Yeah. Okay. So that was the an enemy done by Mark there, I believe, that guy, which was nice. And he was relatively a new artist as well, but, you know, did, did some great stuff. Um... The little checkpoint thing was done by Robbie. The little thing yeah, yeah, the thing that you hit, that pops so, the little... Yeah, everyone's kind of, you know, assigned to do different parts of the game, you know? It's, it's yeah, it's funny. It's, uh, yeah, it was a good experience, man. But, yeah, thankfully I got Matt to, you know, he was helping me out a lot, which was nice. So that definitely was a big part of what made the game look so nice. Because he's a ridiculously talented artist. So, uh... Yeah, no, it was good, man. It's a great experience. We kind of worked on it for, whew, I would say, between nine months and twelve months, I bet, something like that. That's not that we, long. Like, twelve months, maybe. It, well, it really isn't. Yeah. When you think uh, about it, like, uh, well, because in terms of like now, what Chicken Wiggle took you away? Sixteen. Like, 16. Well, that was just two. This is two of us, though. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But still, yeah. that's you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a few more people back then. Well, and, <laughs> but the thing it is too is like a studio like Iguana today you know that would be you know a triple a mm -hmm. this would oh yeah be like a triple a game back then yeah 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 you know? yeah so yeah, that, you're you're talking like yeah you know, i mean because there's me two artists there was at least a, was it just one program may have been one program i probably probably had some support programmers to help with certain things i'm not sure what though now i can't remember obviously a dedicated musician and audio uh, person um and then, of course, you know, Matt, like a director staff above us that was helping, you know, uh, art director, there's a programming director, there's a production director. I mean, yeah, we had the whole, like, hierarchy. I mean, it was like a legit studio, you know, yeah, <laughs> with yeah, the yeah. HR and everything. I mean, it was like a legit studio. It was like, yeah, it was all professional. I mean, Iguana stuff. at the time was one of the top, you know, yeah. they were one of the, because... Yeah, they were a big, they were a big Iguana deal. Iguana eventually, what, did they get bought out by Acclaim? They did, yep. Okay. So, At this point, they weren't, but yeah, they did yeah, eventually. Yeah, at this point, yeah. they weren't, but, you know. Yep. Because, like you said, yeah, this were... game was a Sunsoft game, is it? 
Sunsoft, yeah. Look yeah, right. so Sunsoft was big too. You know, they were a big studio yeah. as well. Again, Sunsoft would have been considered like a triple A studio oh, yeah. in today's ranks. Definitely. And, uh, oh, yeah, a big publisher, yeah. I mean, they, Blaster Master was a big thing to fame for them. Yeah, that was huge. Books, a bunch of stuff. They did a bunch they did of Batman. They did the license Batman things. Movies. Yeah. Yeah. They did all kinds of good stuff. They were amazing. Uh, David Silla um, was the, one of the big brains behind Sunsoft, and this was his kind of concept with his son, Justin, who was kind of learning from him. So this is more kind of Justin, his son's kind of game that we were working with. And he was young, too. We are all young. All yeah. young and dumb, just trying to make games. It was fun. <laughs> it was a good time, man. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, I mean, we, we, I mean, just looking at them, they're just I know it sounds silly, but the number of pixels, the shading and stuff on this stuff, it's yeah, crazy. Look at the we're, clouds. Ooh. I mean, the detail yeah. on the clouds, even the, crazy. the background clouds. Yeah, not they're just, really good. Not just the ones you're using, you know what I mean? Like the background yeah. clouds too is. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. I mean, and I can say that because I didn't do it. And that's all. Yeah. That's all matte stuff. Them trees, right though, man. Them trees are pretty cool. Dude, the palm trees yeah. are pretty but awesome. <laughs> Absolutely insane. I mean, inspired stuff right there. That's palm tree is ridiculous. Yeah, that's beautiful. Super fun. Like I say, Disney was the big inspiration for us. It feels like it. It feels and looks like a Disney, like Chip and Dale and, and the Darkwing Duck game and, and the, the Ducktales game. Like, yeah, it feels and looks similar to that. You know. Yeah, I mean, where it's just everything's really smooth and shaded, yeah. and mm -hmm. it has lots of frames of animation. You know what it also yeah. reminds me of it reminds me of the uh, the Star Wars games that came out mm -hmm. during yep. that era. You know, what I mean, like the uh, the Super yeah. Star Wars and Super. Yeah, I loved those games. I mean, they're, you play them now, and they're they're very they're, they're interesting, but they're yeah. man, they have a great style to them. They do, they do. They're they're really good. They're tough, though, man. Oh my God, the Star Wars games are so tough. They were oh tough, man. Oh my God, they were so hard. And not in a good way. No, no. In, in a, like, <laughs> in a really to, like, cheap crush a way. Controller way. Yeah, yeah, really cheap. Yeah. It was like, oh, I die there. Okay, now I know. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Thanks. can't jump up there. Okay, Thanks got for, it. Thank Thanks you. For killing yeah. Me. It was like, but but they were super fun though. So what's yeah. the what's the plot or the story? So I what's guess? weird is like those zero is actually Arrow's enemy, his arch nemesis. Oh really? So this is kind of like an anti-hero kind of game. Like oh, Arrow was okay, the okay. This bad guy. The so Zero is actually seen at the end of Arrow as the bad guy. Okay. With with uh, the with the, the other guy at the beginning of the intro of the game, the guy with the big mask, whoever mm -hmm. his name is, Jack Machine. So no, it was Jack Machine. It's I don't know what it is, but anyway, it's his henchman. Okay. Zero is that guy's henchman. Okay. That's why he was talking to him at the beginning there. Um. So yeah, this was kind of like a yeah a villain game, I guess. That's pretty cool. A very cute very cute way. <laughs> um, so this is my level art work. I did this level art. Okay. Uh, the stones and the clouds and well, the whole level stuff. So this was like one of the levels I worked on. Yeah, I really. This was interesting. This was a fun challenge to kind of create this. Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. It's fun. Oh, those guys are pretty cool. Those little eggs, jumping eggs with legs. Sure. <laughs> That plant was made by Robbie. I remember, like, she made that. Yeah. Fun stuff. I love those clouds in the foreground. Such a cool Super Nintendo effect. What's interesting about that is that is actually using a layer. So the Super Nintendo has, if I remember correctly, two main playfield, two main layers, which is typically the layer you play the game on and then the layer in the background. Yeah. And then sometimes you'll do split parallax to make it seem like you have more, but it's just two distinct layers. Yeah. So... In this case, I'm trying to think now. Um, I think, weirdly enough, I think the background layer actually is like, anyway, whatever. The foreground layer here, though, is actually the four color kind of third layer you usually use, I think, for um, like text overlays and stuff. But for some reason, we, we didn't use that um, for, for the overlay fonts. Probably, again, because, probably because the Genesis didn't have it. Mm -hmm. So we decided to use the same technique. Anyway, whatever. So you will see each of the clouds there on the foreground. They will slide kind of conveniently like next to each other. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because it's basically just a, a, a flat kind of image with those clouds drawn on. And then you say, okay, every, you know, 16 pixels or 32 pixels, whatever, that's a break point. So, and that's where, like, let's say one of those sausage clouds is sitting in. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's range. So take that and scroll it like this. Okay, so 16 above that, yeah. take that and scroll it like this. And you're kind of splitting up the playfield. 
and telling it to scroll different sections of the playfield at different speeds and different directions. And that's the result you get. You're going to get a feeling of mist kind of going in front. Anyway, so that's really fun kind of figuring out this kind of. What you can do, what you can't do. And... Yeah, I mean, it's neat. Yeah, I like it. I don't, I don't think the Genesis had that, but. Um, uh, yeah, I can't imagine it would. I don't know how we would have done it. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, you, I always remember that era. Like, the, Nintendo and Sega didn't want copycat games on their consoles mm. anyway. Like, if you were making this game, they wanted you to go, like, well, this mm -hmm. game is being made specifically for us, and this is what's different about it. And, like, you had mentioned, like, Aladdin and all them. Like, those games were yeah. pretty much, like, they went full. Aladdin, I mean, and, and they were yeah. two different games. They weren't they were the same game. They were exactly, completely different. Yeah. And people would say, well, which one do you like the most? You know, is it yeah. the Super Nintendo or Genesis one? Yeah. You know, and I think they were made by different teams, even. Cause I think, I think the were. Super Nintendo one was Capcom. I think the Genesis one was Disney. I think so. Was, it was, Dis was Disney Studios. Yeah. Yeah, for Aladdin. Oh, I forgot about that thing. Look at that little animation. That was rendered. So that base you're standing on, that's yeah. 3D rendered in 3DS. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to say 3DS. I mean 3D Studio. 3DS Studio Max. 3DS Max. There we go. That's what it's called. Max. Then it was called 3DS because the 3DS didn't exist. Um, yeah, you got little particle effects of goo there on your feet when you land on the slime there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember drawing that slime, man. That was fun. Because you have to draw a section of that and then it has to repeat, you know? Yeah. So you have to kind of figure out the sliver and then plonk it up there and see if it kind of continues seamlessly. What's up? Oh, and there's the guy. There's the sniper. So random. And there's the little thingy at the end. Aww. That's awesome. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Of course, the, the the candy and the fruit that you collect naturally <laughs> in the levels, the bonus points. It's all bonus points and stuff. It's funny how that, that kind of arcade was carrying over very much to it the was, games back then. It was, it was, because that's that. I mean, that was why you played arcade games like, to see mm -hmm. the, the yeah, highest points. scores. Yeah. And like, you, I mean, you look at the original Super Mario Brothers. Like, there was a score. You know, you yeah. had scores, and that's gone now. You don't do that no more. Like nobody no, cares about gosh. scores. Check this out. The flip flag test. This is ridiculous. Is he actually going to do it? Maybe not. Oh, I guess is there another way to go? Oh, he's not going to do the flip flag test. Okay, that is one of the weird, weirdest parts of the game, is the ability to do the flick flag. <laughs> oh, maybe he'll do. It. I don't know. I haven't checked out this footage yet, but it's very bizarre. It's neat. It's very bizarre though. No, he did the shortcut. He used the roundabout way. Well, oh, that's fancy. Wow. I wonder if they know what they're doing because they're like, what? Oh, interesting. I don't think they knew what the flip flag test was about, which is not surprising because it's. Yeah. Very strange. Oh, well, no worries. We'll, we'll move on. But later on, I think in a minute, we'll see them do the um, super dive. I think okay. right here, actually. Which is... Is there instructions in the game? Because if not, the guy's just going to die. So it's tough, man. Yeah, this game is very odd. It had some very awkward kind of controls. Um, it was very demanding, I think, of the player. But... Oh, that was just a little secret level. There was a super dive earlier where... He, had, he went. He fell down. He had to like swing back up. Oh, he, did it? He couldn't get oh. it though. Couldn't okay. It. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was flapping about stuff. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. you were talking about the clouds at the time. Oh yes. Okay. I was focused on the clouds. Fun. Bouncing on plants. Yeah. So each level art. Like has to fit. I'm trying to think what it is now. Oh man, that's mean. Yeah, Bouncy exactly. Thing, spikes above you. Yeah. I wasn't the designer on this game, by the way, so you can't blame me for any of the gameplay. <laughs> I just made it look pretty. Um, <laughs> the uh, yeah, the level. I'm trying to think now. It's something like a thousand and forty-eight eight by eight characters. So look, a thousand and forty-eight eight by eight unique squares was what could fit in memory and that's what you had what you had to make the entire level art out of which sounds ridiculous because how do you even do that but you just have to start making it and, and then you run something it tells you how many of you you've used and how many do you have left and you just keep going until you fill it up and go ah and you go back and you get more efficient you delete things you add things it's just an iterative process but that's all it can fit in memory so that's all you can do so that's every level kind of has the same footprint that it has to fit in as far as memory Oh, here we go. Here's a, oh, here's another flip flag test. Is he actually going to do it? Because there's no sign telling you. How to, oh no, super dive test. 
There's no sign telling you what the controls are. So you have no idea what the hell it's talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Oh, man. Because I think it's supposed to press down and press L and then press right and L and then up and L or something crazy like that. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. Here comes the big uh, spider boss, like a weird machine thing, I think, boss guy in a minute. There oh, he is. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if he can beat this guy. Oh, he's pausing it. It's like, I don't think so. Oh, he's maybe not. <laughs> That's not gonna work. You're gonna have to like do a little swoopy thing to break his glass or something crazy. It's like, how does the player know what to do? It's yeah, so yeah. Yeah. There's the little health feature on the side there. That's funny. <laughs> yep, you're gonna have to do a little dive, dude. Jump up and do a little swoopy thing. There we oh, go. There you go. You got that it. was a gas. You have to time it so it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. And it'll break the glass in a minute. Oh. So frustrating. <laughs> Jesus. Awesome. Oh man, my allergies are getting to me. Are they? It's time of year when it gets cold outside, I guess the pollen all comes out, you know? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Mr. Gonna... Mr. Texas over there, it was snowing today in Jersey. Don't give me your nonsense. Boom. There you go. There he goes. He got oh, yeah. Now he just has to kill the guy inside. No, you would think exactly. That's good you thinking. Think you yeah, could you hit it, right? it. Yeah, no, yeah. That would have been nice. That would have been a nice extra le level of depth there yeah, to yeah, make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No. Sure. No. The shuriken's for you. Oh. oh my god, this guy. He's on his last bar of health, so he's not going to make it. Oh man, is he going to die? Time it. You can do it. Feel it. Be one with the yes. There you oh. go. Be close. Here we go. He's got it. I and mean, he's, he's a good player. Who was playing it? Oh my gosh. Oh, he died. It's all over. He's like, man, this game. Well, at least, at least here's the nice thing. He didn't have to start over with the full bar help. He's right back True. at it. You know what I mean? Like, that's Yeah, weird. the checkpoint was nicely placed. Oh, and it's back with... Oh, yes, right. Totally. He's back where the boss was. It's very kind, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that's what you meant. I thought you meant the player's help. Yeah, yeah, the boss's help is where it was. Yeah, the boss's nice. help right where it was. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Here hit, we go. Down. One more hit. One more hit. Go. Oh, but nice. All right. Very cool. Here we go. Going up. And that's definitely some technique required here, man. Yeah, man. Even to get up there, it's not easy to get over there. Yeah, you have to actually have to press it quicker, which generates momentum, which isn't natural. It doesn't make sense, but that's the way it works. You, you have go. to actually press the jump button twice, much quicker, to kind of propel yourself up to that spot. I guess he'll figure it out. I guess. Or we'll be oh, maybe we'll be watching this. I mean, for a couple of more seconds, <laughs> he'll be like, "Screw this!" Hey, he did it! Yay! Yeah, he got it. He got it. Yeah, he did it. That's it. Oh dear! Now he's back down there. There well, we go. He figured it out. He figured it out. He oh, here comes the sniper again. Cheeky. There's no rest for the squirrel. No, not at all. Get a checkpoint. There we go. <laughs> Get the ice cream. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Funny. One thing I never liked about the game, to be the, no offense to the person who did it, but the music was always just. I can't stand this music. Yeah, there's so nothing to the music. Pointless. It's just horrible it's just to me. Repetitive. Yeah. And I would say that when I was there, and the person who was responsible for getting the person who made it was really liked it. Really, yeah. I never really liked the person who made it, and I was like, and he wasn't really a gamer. And I was really into games, and I was playing, you know, Capcom and Nintendo and Konami and all the greats. And I was like, man, our music really sucks compared to those. Yeah, and they're like, no, it's just great. And I'm like, it's not great, dude. It <laughs> kind of sounds like some dude on a MIDI keyboard in the background. It's yeah, not, it doesn't yeah, sound yeah. good, dude. And it's like, no, it doesn't. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just artist, I guess. And that's one of the reasons I love making, running my own company. It's like, yeah, listen, can... yeah, it's like that. And I'll be the idiot instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, no, 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 this is horrible. We don't want to, you know. <laughs> and then people are like, no, oh, no, this is. Yeah. Look at that sniper action. Beautiful. So random. Nice little variety in gameplay, though. Yeah, it is. I love how there's no context. Like, here you go, sniper, where, why not? Yeah, he's just gonna start shooting at you and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Avoid that. You just accept it. Like, there's nests, so there's, like, there's no birds in this level. Like, yeah, why are like, there nests? I guess there's the eggs, I guess. Just, you're like, where the birds at? Yeah, where are the big birds? You got nests, you got eggs. It's funny. It's a long levels, huh? 
They it's are. A check they are long, man. Holy cow. They're a bit extreme. It's like it's kind of hard. It's like let's get to the end because my mom's calling me down for dinner and I need to wrap yeah, this up. I mean, no, safe no, spot, like, uh, so yeah, I turn it off. It's done. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Actually, there is no save, right? I guess it's one stop, one stop shopping. I think it is. Oh, another super dive. Yeah, I don't think it saved any progress. I don't think so. So yeah, it does. Yeah, because yeah, it has the map. I think at least when you see the map and it moves to the next thing, yeah, that'll yeah, probably yeah. be where you start again, I bet. God, I can't remember now. I'm so spoiled with today's games, I think I remember. So down and do the thing majig, then right in the thing majig, and he has to do it to get up there. There's no oh cheat. My God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the manual shows there's you 20, how to do it. There's 43 but... seconds before. I don't think he's going to do it before the. Is there 43 the, seconds left? In the video, yeah. I don't think yeah. he's gonna do it for the video. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. He's like, this game is so stupid. I've got my nunchuck, I've got my karate hands, let's do this. It is, it's, yeah. The, today's game, the game would stop, and it would tell you what to do, yeah, and yeah, you would yeah. do it, and you'd be like, all right, cool. He's so but this, no. He's so frustrated. This yeah, expects yeah. you to grab the manual yeah, like, and go, oh, the super dive. Yeah, he's not doing it. He's like, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah, gonna record this. You know, like three seconds left. Boom. Uh, yeah, <laughs> awesome. it, it stops right there. That's funny. <laughs> oh my god! He's like, He's like nope, I'm done. This game. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Out. I don't care about this game no more. <laughs> so there was uh, zero, zero. The Kamikaze, Kamikaze Squirrel. squirrel. Beautiful. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Um, Super fun. So what? Uh, what, what? What's next on your agenda for for next week? Oh my gosh! What I didn't talk about that. Yeah, you come on, man. I know. So we've done NES. Mm -hmm. We've done Super Nintendo mm -hmm. slash Genesis. Yeah. So do you want to stay in the SNES realm? Do you want to move on to a different console? Let's, let's, stay, let's stay in in, uh, in Super Nintendo. Super, Super Nintendo world. Well. Yeah. well, let's pull up my um, softography yeah. because um, that has everything. Let's see where you're at. Let's see where I'm at. Excuse me. We can do, yeah, okay. So we have zero. I mean, we do have... Um, well, as far as games in the era, there's like NFL Quarterback Club. Let's do a football that. game. Yeah? Yeah, I want to do NFL Quarterback Club. Oh, okay. There we go. Done. Okay. Sweet. And probably try and find the very first one, because we did do NFL Quarterback Club... And, but there's a bunch of versions with different years on the back and blah, 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 blah. So you did the Super the, Nintendo one. The original NFL Quarterback Club. But we had a bunch of versions on the Super Nintendo and Genesis. Yeah. But the very original one is really neat because it actually has the Quarterback Club where you actually yeah. run the challenge. In that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah, is yeah. so, so cool. That was awesome. Um, That's the one I owned. So it is a neat game, man. That yeah. was really – and we can talk about it. Mean, I'll stop yeah, talking we'll about it because we'll talk about it. Okay. But, yeah, let's do NFL Quarterback Club. Um, okay. Yeah, man. Cool. So you got Fun anything stuff. else? You got anything else before we wrap it up, Jules, or are you good? Um, what happened? Where are you? My, are you still there? I'm here. Okay, my thing just went weird. Ah, uh, here we go. Skype. Sorry. Skype anyway, Skype. Um, I, I just can't see you, unfortunately. Like, uh, well, I see it's a blue screen. I probably got a nice tinge of blue. Um, what else is going on? So, uh, I'm working on Soccer Slammers, and this mm -hmm. feels good to be able to say, you know, actually say what I'm working on out loud, which is super fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm kind of moving towards Sugar Mugle Rehatched Kickstarter as well, which is very exciting. I'll have more news on that very, very soon. Waiting on totes to get wrapped up. Zero Drift is coming out in a couple of weeks. Oh, and Treasure Notes, of course. Treasure which, um, which, like I said in my, my blog post, is, is really shipping up. Nice as well, you know. The, like I said before, the designs all figured out, and um, now we're kind of making it, yeah. <laughs> making the enemies, making the bosses, making the levels, making the artwork. Um, I'm going to be going to GDC, but that's in March, so we'll we'll be chatting before then anyway. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, man, okay. that's about it, I think. Oh, um, what are you playing? You've been playing anything recently? Uh, a bunch of games dude, I've been out. playing. I actually started playing uh, Monster Hunter World. Okay. Started messing with that a little bit. I've been playing oh, everybody's golf. Which platform? Okay, so I've been playing, playing on PS4. PS4. Okay. Yeah. So the reason cool. why I, I picked the PS4 was I was going to get the Xbox One version. 
and then I was right. talking to Sean, and mm-hmm. then apparently something that happened was PS4 got like a demo, like a beta of the game, okay. which Capcom utilized that information. It was an exclusive beta just for PS4. So mm-hmm. Capcom utilized that information to put out the best version of the game. So apparently the Xbox One version is out and there's all these bugs in it and stuff that were fixed on the PS4 side. Wow. So that's good. Yeah. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to just jump on the PS4 one. Everybody I know is kind of going with that right now anyway. So I just mm-hmm. said I'm gonna jump on the ship. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out over here and, and do what I'm doing over here. Mm-hmm. Um, Joe, after work, you liking and, it? So far, so good. I'm I'm very early in, very early in. Um, okay. I actually just started it this morning. Got like my first mission and all that stuff, and like mm-hmm. went through and cool. did the mission. But I want to mm-hmm. get into a group of people and play, and that's the whole reason why I got it. Um, right. Was for that. Uh, last week. Sean got a uh, closed, he got a bunch of closed beta codes mm. for um, uh, for Sea of Thieves on the Xbox. Oh, one. yes, that looks nice. Yeah, Dude, that looks really nice. I'll tell you what, now I don't know. Oh, is that not out then? That's it's not only out yet. Closed beta. It was a closed beta, ah, so okay. it, was, it is not out yet, but I got a chance to go hands on with it. Sean got a bunch of codes from Xbox. Mm-hmm. And um, so he started divvying them out to people. And I went on and I started playing last week with him and, and a couple other people. And I don't know that it's a game that I can play. Um, mm-hmm. Only because I was getting actually seasick. Like, wow. When you're sitting, it feels like you're in a boat. Right. Like, yeah, because you, you don't have a good time with first person shooters, right? I don't have a great time with first person game. Although it feels like I'm starting to break that mold lately. Oh, cool. um, which is good. And yeah. ultimately, they say to break it, you need to keep playing first-person games. So, like, I started playing Fallout 4 this past okay. week, um, and then I started playing that. And that didn't – the first person did not bother me. The actual sitting in the boat, looking out over the ocean and watching, mm-hmm. was yeah. like, what is going on here? <laughs> this is crazy. Um, yep. But it looks like it'll be a fun game. It really that does. Lo- it looks nice. It looks very impressive. Yeah. I'm definitely. I I don't have the time, but I'd love to check it out. Yeah, when it comes um, out, comes out a couple of months or when's it coming out? I think so. I think it comes out in like uh, April, somewhere. Okay. Right um, Tony, she year last year she platinumed Fallout Four. Wow. And she's been pushing me for a while mm-hmm. now to play this. To, right. And she actually just recently bought her own xbox one okay and she for christmas i bought her the the pit boy edition so i didn't know this but when she had gone to her mom's um to watch the dog and stuff she actually Mm -hmm. took the game with her and i was like (laughs) okay so she's like i'm playing it at my mom's house you should Uh start playing it at our house and i was like okay so i jumped in Start playing nice. a little Fallout 4. So that's kind of yeah. fun. That's been kind that's of fun. That's cool. Because yeah. when I get stuck, I just text her and I'm like, All right, hey, how did you get past this? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> right. what, what is this? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing yep. here. So, um, nice. that's and cool. And Xenoblade Chronicles X. I've been diving right. into that quite a bit and putting some time into that. So, what platform is that on? Is that? That's Switch. That's, that is Switch, yeah. That's okay. Switch. That's that right. game yeah. is really good, man. It's a yeah. lot of grinding. Mm. Um, but it's really good. It's a lot of fun. Right. It's a lot of cool. Fun. So that's that's basically wow. what I've been, I've been playing of, a lot of stuff. A lot of, lots lots of, of big different. kind of epic kind of games. I guess you're playing right now. The one the one I'm looking forward to the most, um, and I just I pre-ordered it is mm. uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Okay. Yeah. I'm really looking at, I'm really looking forward to this game. I, I played it for a bit on the PS4 mm-hmm. and I liked it a lot. Right. But the problem was was I had to find time. That's the way it just feels with the mm. PS4 and stuff. It's like, I have to find time to play games. Yeah. With the Switch, I have the ability to, like, I always have time to play the yeah. Switch. Because you can just pick it up. You can be on the toilet. You can be yeah, anywhere. You can, can play it anywhere. Yeah, just, you know, wherever you want to go, exactly. you have it. It's with you. You yep. know what I mean? Like, yep. So that's what's nice about that. So I, like, I know that I enjoyed my time with it on the PS4, so I'm, like, now even more excited to go back into it and play it again. Yep. I got the demo. I played it. I loved it. 
Um, nice. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty busy, man. Nice. Yeah, it's it's big pretty, games. It's pretty good. Yeah, I remember like Sea of Thieves being the one game that really stood out at the Xbox conference or the show, whatever the heck it was. Yeah. Um, when they were demoing it, I'm like, wow, that looks impressive. Yeah. That could be something you could get lost in for Absolutely. many, many hours, many, many days. Absolutely. And, and some rainy, rainy week, I'd love to do that. That'd be yeah. awesome. But it's massively multiplayer, right? Like everyone's online doing it's their thing. It's all multiplayer. Yeah. What it is, it's a okay. four man. It's like a. We had like a four man boat. Oh, um, cool. And you go out, and one person's like steering the boat, and then you got the two guys doing the sails, wow. and one wow. guy's doing the anchor. And yeah, that's really neat. Cannon, you know, you get the cannons on the side of the ship, and. You can actually get that's in the awesome. cannon and have someone shoot you out of the cannon. Oh, yeah. That's... Um, I actually. Okay. I mean, can you imagine being a kid and that coming out oh, and you're getting your school friends together yeah, to play man. online with that? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, my God. The crazy you're literally thing was, pirates. The cra- I mean, exactly, that's crazy. Exactly. The crazy thing is, right, we go to this one island and I'm just doing. Like, I'm not even paying attention. Like, the object is you get, like, you get these um, maps. That are basically of an mm. island, and there's a treasure buried there. You have to go find okay. the treasure, and then okay. the object is is like you can either go out and get three quests mm-hmm. and get the treasure, and it's like you reap a bigger reward, or you mm. if you get killed, then someone can steal your treasure and take off with it. So you have that whole yeah. aspect too. Oh, and, that's um, awesome. So we go to this island, and I don't care. I'm like, whatever, man. I'm running around. I'm being stupid. Mm-hmm. And Sean <laughs> and Jason Lacey, like, they're being real serious Careful. about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, like, taking the clues, <laughs> and we got to walk this. We got to find this rock and walk it. And I'm like, I don't care. You're and like, hey, I come running around the island, <laughs> and I look over, and I'm like, guys, there's another boat here. And they're like, oh, sh- and they're like, no. What do you mean? I'm like, dude, there's another boat sitting right here. And I was like, so I swim out to the boat, and there's nobody on the boat. No. Now, Joseph Moran, he's also <laughs> playing, and he's like, guys, there's a girl here. And he's like, now she can't hear anything we're saying, but he's like kind of like using his, his em- emotes, or his like um, emotes to kind of like to, hit on her and stuff. To communicate through the yeah, game? He's, he, 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 he was, okay. he's trying to like, he's trying to hit her. And I get in her. I know. She's I, like, brings out a musket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's just on the <laughs> I get on the boat and I right, raise the anchor and I start sailing their boat. You steal their boat. Out yeah. to sea, right? Oh my God. Because you can. Like, yeah, because you can. And then I get going for a little bit and then I jump off the boat, right? And I swim back to shore. And it's still going? It's still, still going. going. It's oh gone. My God. Like, that it's is going. so mean. I didn't care. I can't care less. So mean. <laughs> so then oh I go. God. I go. Guys, you're the griefer. You're the twelve year old griefer exactly, in the game. Exactly. Exactly. I'm like, guys, wrap up what you're doing and get back <laughs> yeah, to our I boat. Just bamboozled because, their car. Yeah, because oh, their boat. They're, I'm sure there's a crew out on that island right now. And oh, when they realize that I just kicked their boat to the side, oh, they're going to come yeah. headhunting you guys. Get your boat. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so get on the boat so we can get out of here. It was so much fun. Dude. Oh, that's it amazing. So I love it. That is incredible, um, dude. Real oh quick, let's before we wrap up. Yeah. I, I actually forgot about this stuff. I bought some stuff. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. I still haven't sent you the thing I meant to send you. God, I'm terrible. So, I'm Joel, a terrible friend. It, Sorry. I understand. I understand. <sighs> Joel Brooks from Canada actually mm. sent me a Nintendo Power in the mail. I just got this yesterday. So this is that, thing is an old issue, it's, I guess. It's an old Obviously. issue. Yeah. Issue number twenty three. It, so it's old. What, man. It's, it, does it have a year on there? Um, is that on the spine, maybe? Maybe on the inside it does. It's got to be like eight. It's definitely the eighties. Um, wow, that is awesome. What games are in it? Oh God, it's got. So it's got Power Blade, Totally Rad, Swordmaster, <laughs> Monopoly. That, but this is right around the Game Boy time because then it had the Sword of Hope, Ultima, R Type. Mickey's Dangerous Chase, WWF Superstars, Pac-Man. I'll type on the game. Or type on the game on the Game Boy. Um, Man, have you played that? It's actually pretty great. Is it? No, I never it, played it. I have the Game Boy Color. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll type in a box, no less. It yeah. is. It's pretty great. I mean, yeah, it's great. It's so, a good version. So that's the one thing I got. So that's thank, awesome, man. Thank you, Joel. And then I bought. Then I went to see my buddy Nick, that owns the the retro game store. Uh-huh. And um, so I bought Bad News Baseball. Nice. I love this game. This game is really cool. Awesome. It's like when uh, it's made by Tecmo, 
So it, right. it, it's kind of that era when Tecmo was doing that, like, where they would do, like, the cut scenes. Mm-hmm. So they were doing it with Tecmo Bowl, they were doing it with Ninja Gaiden, and then they started to do it with this. This is the first game, baseball game, that they did it with. So that was a lot of fun. Um, he gave me a pin. So I don't know if you can see, like, this Mega Man pin oh, yeah. that he gave me. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Um, and then I bought a bunch of e- e-reader cards. For oh, Animal okay. Crossing. Yeah. So this, these cards... Um, back for the DS? Was, it was no Game Boy Advance. Oh, Game Boy Advance. So you okay. bought the Game Boy Advance, oh, yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. you had the GameCube, yep. right? And then you yep. would hook your Game Boy Advance to the GameCube with the mm-hmm. e-reader in the Game Boy mm-hmm. Advance, and then you would right. swipe these cards through, and it would right. give you exclusive items for Animal right. Crossing on the GameCube. So Amazing. that was the other thing I got. Um, and then I bought because I love Nintendo Power. I, I'm a big collector of Nintendo Power, so. He, he messaged me and was like, hey, man, I got a bunch of these Nintendo Powers in the mail. So this is in 95. This is during the Play It Loud era. So oh, wow. Like Play It Loud on the back of it. That's a very bold cover. Yeah, man. And it's got um, it's got an iron-on decal. Wow. It's hard to see. So 95, that was very Donkey much Kong the Super Nintendo. In- yeah, there we go. I was about yeah. to say, very much the Super Nintendo, like the height of that machine the virtual boy oh look out they're advertising the virtual boy in this thing so it's that's like, hilarious it's crazy man it's just so that's a great issue um that's great and then this one is actually oh super mario rpg oh wow so that's another yep. one that i bought from him um, yeah and then i got a couple more here that i bought this was my this is this is this takes me back to like being a kid. Like, this was where... This was, uh... Oh, this is the, um... The N64. This is where the N64 mm. started. So it's all... Yep. All this type era stuff. So that's that issue. Then this one's a silver issue. Ooh. And it's hard wow. to see, but it's mega yeah, it is. on the cover. Oh, wow. It's hard oh, yeah. to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, um... And then when you actually open it, the first page, mm. there it is. That's so cool. Is um, that Mega Man X? Yes, yes. Mega Man oh, X. Great. It's the first It's the first one. Mega Man X is amazing. So good, man. But even like in this one, in this in this particular, the game reviews are Mega Man X, Flashback, Claymates, Soldiers of Fortune, mm. uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighters, uh, Battletoads, and Dr- Double Dragon, the ultimate team-up. Uh, Batman, wow. the animated series, like the, wow. Tetris Two is in here. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this. That's in this book. that's amazing. That's some good stuff the, right there. This is the last one that I bought, and the reason why I bought this is, it is actually issue 34, but it's a Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Oh wow! Which is the reason why I bought that one. That is very cool. Great, great book. Now, what? what, what when yeah. did that come out? When, like, how? In the past? Like ninety. Maybe. Okay. So it, was a cu- so it was a couple of years after the Super Nintendo was out. Yes. Okay. Now, I bought this bad boy. Wow. Yeah. Legend of Zelda, art and artifacts. Um, wow. I mean, that look is how thick that is, man. Freaking wow. Me, is that in like a case? It, this is a hardback book. Oh, it's like cellophane. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's it looks all shiny. So it's like, this thing is insane. I just got it today. I ordered it this weekend. Just got it today. And, um, like, it is, it's all the artwork and mm. stuff from Zelda. Nice. Throughout the years. Very nice. Like, it's not so, even, oh, it's so just the whole thing. So it's not even yeah. just a specific, it's no, just no, no, everything it's, to it's, date. It's everything oh. to date. I remember when they did those, yeah, the yeah. series of those. They're so good. Here's that was for was that for Wind Waker or was it for that was Wind Waker. the DS games? Yeah, that was for Wind Waker. Oh, so good. I mean, dude, it's. I it's love so the art style. I wish they'd do more Zelda games of that style. There's more it Wind looks Waker. so good. This was the this was the oh. most phenomenal stuff. So yeah, I anyway, love that style. Amazing. Anyway, so that's that's my big. That game. is really nice. That book is huge. It was twenty bucks. Uh, uh, twenty two dollars. That is a bargain. No kidding. Twenty two bucks. I got it on Amazon. Wow, yeah, that's Toby, amazing. Toby got I'm it. Surprised. He was like, "You got to get this thing," and I'm like, "Ah, eh, maybe." 
And then I looked at it and I saw the price and I was like, I'm jumping on it, man. Well, I guess I need to get some stuff that I might have bought. I'm trying to think what I've actually bought recently. Not much, though. But I do have rock. I can't, I can't tell if you can see it or not. I can't see my camera. But yeah. rock, rock boshes on so the Peter. Uh, I'm the showing pizza. you stuff. You couldn't even see me? From, I can see you. Oh, I can you see you, see but me. I can't oh, see me. Okay, I got you. I got you. I, got you. I put you in a little window up yeah, there, yeah, but that's I about got you. it. I got you. I got you. And then, of course, uh, Friends of Image and Form. Bit of a. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steam more dig on the Vita. I don't know how well that's showing or glaring. No, I, can I can't see it. See it. Can see it no but problem. anyway, they're both from uh, Limited Run. That's so getting ready those... to come out on the Switch. Yeah, this week, yeah, right? Yeah. February 1st. Next week, I think. It looks nice. It's interesting. I saw a video of it. Um, I think maybe it's from Nintendo, and I'm not sure, though. Um, it's interesting because the presentation looks very much like Dig 2 as far as the menus and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it has that definitely a nice kind of high res, you know, yeah. kind of. Presentation, I didn't, um, I didn't, which I guess it probably did on the PS4 or whatever it's out on anyway. But they yeah. asked me if I wanted the code and I didn't take them up on it. So why is that? I don't know why. I don't know why. I just come on. How much is it? Is it going to be ten? I think it's. I think it's a ten spot. Yeah, and that would make sense. Yeah, I think. Um, I think. So I, I don't. I, it wouldn't surprise me if Brian's like, no, it's going to be twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but no, ten seems right. He's got. He's got to pay for Klaus now. So it's you know. That's true. He's, he's that's to, true. Oh yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, so that's they're. Interesting. they're it's thunderful. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, I have to think every time because there's a sandwich shop here called Thunderclouds. I call them Thunderclap. So <laughs> so I have to always thunderful. Yeah. So that's interesting news. Them combining forces and stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. Getting married and all that business. You know, it's very progressive. Always worked together as it was. Um, they're very close. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think very, they would I mean, see each other. Right across the river from each other. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. You know, they've yep. always kind of worked together as it was. Um, that's actually how I met Yeah, I mean, because they would, right, because they would travel to like, the shows state together, for shows and stuff. shows yeah. together mm-hmm. and stuff. Like, typically yeah. when they did exactly. PAX East, they'd be, yeah. they both would be there and all that. And so it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of, I it mean, is. they went to GDC the one time, they both went together. They travel a lot together, Klaus and, yeah. um, I, I love Klaus though. Klaus is a great guy, man. He's yeah, he's I've met him really once guy. or twice. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, good guy, mm-hmm. so. but uh, much cooler than that Brian guy. Yeah, exactly, Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that is all. Thank you guys for checking us out this week on over on the on the YouTube channel is where we're at for this one. I gotta I gotta think when I when I do all that stuff. But uh, right. you can follow follow Jules over on Twitter at Jules Watchem. You can follow me at Nintendo Gurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston.